Hello there. Welcome to the photo adventure with me and Betsy. Betsy has just legged it again. Um, tonight I've come out just to try and get a little bit of colour in the sky um, for this beautiful church. Join me shortly and I'll tell you where I am and what I'm doing. So tonight I've come out to do a little video for you on bracketing and how I bracket my photographs. There are two ways to do this. You can um, either use auto exposure bracketing where you set the camera just to take three shots or five shots, one after the other straight away. Or you can do it manually. Um, what I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to actually expose these manually to show you how I do it and the reasons why I do it. Um, just look at the. I was going to turn you around here. Look at these beautiful wallflowers. Absolutely stunning. So the church looks fantastic. Um, I'm going to take a couple of shots just here, and I may move up a little bit higher and get another shot just up there. You will see a little bit more of the sky. We've got this beautiful, really high, thin cloud, which I'm hoping is going to turn nice and pink so I think we've got about half an hour to sunset so I shall take a couple of shots here have a quick walk up the top there's another bench at the top um, see what it looks like from there and yeah decide where I like the best for when the sun does set there are a lot of power cables around here which is a bit of a shame um, for tonight I'm not going to clone them out, um, they are part of the scene so I'm just going to leave them in. It's a, it's a beautiful little area and yeah I'll take this quick shot, I'll set up just here and there's a little bench I want to try and get in the foreground and off to the church and I'll put this on for you right now. So I've just moved round, um, here's Betsy for once, she's, in, she's behaving herself. Um, I've just come to the edge of these wildflowers. I'm going to try and line them up in the foreground with the church in the distance. What I'm going to do with this, I'll show the back of the camera shortly. But I'm going to shoot one shot, which is going to be overexposed for the oil lights in the foreground and in the trees below the church. Another one, probably just very, very slightly, maybe 0.3 of a stop underexposed just so I can get the light it's in the church and then I will darken down probably two stops underexposed just to try and bring out detail in the sky just point up at the sky there is this really beautiful really thin oil cloud the kind of stuff that normally goes bright pink and purple so that's what I'm hoping for tonight um, I'll just show you the back of the camera. So this is the scene I'm going to be shooting and the way I'm going to shoot it is the first shot is going to be I'm focused on the church to start with uh, I am just over one stop overexposed f11 ISO 100 and a fifth of a second and I'll take that shot now two second timers on I'm now going to come down to literally a third of a stop underexposed, still focused on the church. The only thing different there is fifteenth of a second. And I'm now going to come down to just under two stops. One one point seven stops. I've got forty of a second, F eleven, ISO one hundred. I'm now going to take that shot just for detail in the sky and you can see the whites in the sky. Now I'm going to re-open up 
two just to have a uh, point one of a stop overexposed and now focusing down into the wall flares it is blowing out so I'm now going to come down and we're shooting now at zero ah, I'll take this shot again when Betsy gets out of the photograph Betsy come here Betsy so take that one again this is just for the flowers in the foreground and I'm now also going to just underexpose it one stop just for some shadows in these wildflowers some little shadow areas and what I should do is blend these individually into Photoshop so the way I'm going to approach this image in Photoshop the three bracketed shots of the church I will blend together first and then the two underexposed shots, the normal exposure and the underexposed shot of the wildflowers I will also blend together just so I've got nice dynamic range with the, the brights with the blues and the reds and then the darks and the shadows and then I'll merge those two images together so I've got beautiful detail in the wildflowers detail on the church and the bushes just in front of the church don't know if you can see it with a GoPro and then we'll get the uh, hopefully beautiful pinks into the sky this photograph now I will put on just to show you what it looks like while I'm waiting for the sky to turn so take a quick look at this now see what you think I'm just going to uh, hang on for the sky to start turning. If I look towards the sun, it is starting to go a little bit red now. Um, so it is just a case now, I think, of just waiting. Just before the light actually comes off the church, because I do like the way the clock is lit up, and I might actually just go and quickly take a photograph of that, just so that I can use that bright light, the highlights in the photograph which should look really nice but I am literally now just waiting for this um, as I say you can set up auto exposure bracketing in camera and what I would normally do with this is I would set probably two stops each side of zero and then move the lot across either to underexpose or to overexpose usually I'll go darker um, because I don't want anything blown out too much with the oil lights and just merge them together in Photoshop or Lightroom as a HDR and you'll get perfect exposure on the on the images you, you've got all the detail there so you can adjust the highlights and the shadows and everything the whites the blacks and you'll end up with a beautiful photograph I tend to do it a little bit differently because it does look that little bit grainy a little bit HDR in if you do it that way so I tend to blend individual photographs I will just blend the sky in to a foreground shot or whatever or but bring these log wildflowers back into to match the tones into the middle of the scene and I just find that gives me a little bit more pleasing image it is a lot more work to do but for tonight I'm literally going to just be taking I've took two shots now and I'll probably just take one more I am just going to get a quick photograph while the clock is just lit up now before the sun dies and it's, there will be just three images for me to edit so it's not going to take that long um, but yeah the sky is starting to turn so join me in a minute and I'll talk you through when the sky turns orange or pink I'm hoping pink so this is the first for me first pink poppy that I've ever seen. I've never seen a pink one. Here. How beautiful is that? Little wide and pink poppy. Little poppies. 
stunning. Don't know if the GoPro is going to pick this up or not, but out where the to the west now, where the well northwest where the sun's setting, we have got some faint oranges, very pastel oranges, and there is it is spreading now across just behind the church. I don't know if the GoPro is going to pick it up or not. Um, it is just starting to look just that tiny little bit orange, and I'm hoping it's going to get a little bit brighter shortly and maybe even just turn pink. So I'm just going to sit it out and just wait. Sunset is pretty much in about a minute, maybe two minutes. Um, I think it's 12 minutes past nine or 13 minutes past nine, which looking at the clock on the church now it says 11. So we are pretty much at sunset. So yeah, any luck. This is going to get beautiful little pink hazes or orange hazes just behind the church should look great. I'm not going to refocus on the foreground with these wildflowers. The image that I took previous I will use those two blended images as a foreground for this image um, and all I'm going to do is bracket on the church. It'll be pretty much probably just a stop overexposed so I can get the detail in the church and in the bushes at the base of the church and then or take like a normal exposure and then another shot probably probably will go mad and go almost two stops over uh, underexposed just to try and bring out that detail in the sky just a little bit more um, the trick is get the detail that you want and you can adjust it slightly and play with it in Photoshop after time to keep waiting it is just moving round so I think it's probably another five minutes and we should be able to get a shot so I've just took a little step away from the camera just to try and show you the sky now the Sun literally goes down there and as you can see it is moving across now close to behind the church so I'm now going to go and get set up and I'll put the video on well I'll put this photo on at the end of the video or I'm going to make you wait I'm hoping it's going to look stunning. Uh, it is a beautiful little church, I've got to say. It's a little local village. The village is called Abberley. Um, I think we come under Worcestershire here. I'm sure we do. Um, beautiful little village though, and this church looks absolutely stunning. I photographed it a few times before. I've come a couple of times to try and get sunsets here, and it just hasn't happened. More luck, I always get that bank of cloud on the horizon that comes up and it just kills the sunset for me. It happens so often, but tonight there's not much of a sunset because there's not much cloud, but looking out to the west, we would have had a good sunset if I'd have gone out somewhere. I'll turn around to the east, there is no cloud in the sky at all. So I am, we are facing north and I just literally want just these pastel oranges and pastel pinks that's what I've come out for tonight. It looks like I am going to get my wish uh, because as time is coming on now, the oranges are moving across beyond the church. So I'm going to get off here now and I'm going to get the shot and I'll put on at the end of the video. So I'll just talk you through what I'm doing with this shot then now. There we are getting some pinks. Um, I'm shooting this one, I'm OSI 100 F11. I am one stop overexposed, so I've got detail on the church, and that's giving me 0.5 of a second. Two second timers on, I'll take that shot. You can just see a little bit of pink in the sky. I'm now going to come down to zero, just to give me some nice tones in the church itself, where it's still lit up by the clock. And now, I'm going to really underexpose 1.7 stops, two stops is just looking a little bit too much for me, but as you can see the sky looks beautiful now. But I'm going to come back and literally 1.7 of a stop underexposed, which is 13th of a second, which is giving me that exposure. And that's what I'm looking for, absolutely stunning. Just going to try and show you now. 
rubbing after and you can just see the beautiful pinks just coming behind the church now um, this is what I've come for although to the west it looks like there is a beautiful sunset going on in the west don't be frightened to shoot either south or to your north even east um, looking north now we've got these beautiful blues and orangey pinks they look fantastic I'll just turn around south and you can see again in the distance to the south it is bright blue because you're coming to blue hour first in the east where it's darkest with the pinks in the background looks fantastic looks fantastic I'm going to uh, just hang on just a little bit more just to see if this does get a bit deeper colour and uh, if it does this one will be on as opposed to the one I told you earlier beautiful night beautiful night I can the sheep can you hear the sheep I don't think the GoPro's going to the, the mic's going to pick the sheep up the sheep are going absolutely bonkers around here mad so that's it for tonight um, I'll just turn you around show the church the cloud beyond the church is just vanishing now so it is better colour pink but there's not so much there so it's time to go I'm uh, ready for a cup of tea I've got about a 15 minute drive back home now from here so it won't take me long I've got to find Betsy she's legged it up on the field there I think she's sniffing the sheep out probably hungry uh, there are links down below in the description to all the gear that I'm using um, if you've got any questions on bracketing drop me a comment below the same if you like the images just drop me a comment let me know which one you like the best um, you may not like them at all they may not be your taste it is a shame about the wires in here but I'm not going to take them out uh, it is part of the scene so I'm just going to leave it in please like and subscribe to the video it's uh, it helps the algorithm and it helps the channel to grow your support really is appreciated and by subscribing you're just allowing us to go out and make more videos um, I've been getting some good comments and good feedback on the channel um, people are liking everything I'm doing from jets to landscape I am going up to the Isle of Mull in a couple of weeks my sister's just bought a property on Mull and I'm gonna go up and help her to relocate up there so while I'm there I'll do a few landscape shots if I can get to see any otters I will get a few photographs and maybe even a tutorial on otters for you so if wildlife is your thing keep watching um, it's a beautiful place the Isle of Mull is um, sea eagles golden eagles this time of year you've got orcas you've got minke whale basking sharks there's puffins up there everything if you're into your wildlife take a trip up to Scotland Isle of Mull fantastic place fantastic I should put the photos on now and enjoy them and until next time take it easy